What's up? Inside is Deuces Jacket Vaping Insider. Today we're going to be going over a mech mod by Hell Vape. I got my sexy matte black mongrel sitting on top of it. We're talking about the Hell Vape Trishful V2. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. Now I got the brass one here. I'm going to unbox this one but I'm not going to use this one for the demonstration because it's it's just too shiny and schmutzy, but I wanted to show it to you. Okay, so here is your mech mod owner's manual. We're going to pluck it and file it. All right, here is a warning card basically telling you this is a hybrid mechanical mod. Please make sure you know your Ohm's law and stuff like that. And then your Trishful V2 is going to come in this little plastic baggie right you're gonna pop that open all right and check that out really really nice brass what a nice shine to it man I mean you got some engraving over here you got a little bit of like a heat sink type of fin here really not practical but it does break up all the brass okay it is gonna smell like brass you do have a nice little cutout right here okay um, plenty of venting on top as well as on the bottom so nice job on that. Like I said, you could tell I've only been handling it a few seconds and it's already all schmutzed up. But some people just love their brass, so I wanted to show it to you. All right, we're going to put it on the side for a second and I'm going to show you the flat black one that I have. And by the way, both have the same internals, okay? They're both copper inside, but I just wanted to show you. So like I said, I'm going to do the demonstration on the Cerakoted one, but I do want to show you what else this comes with. Okay, threading on this for a Chinese mod, really, really smooth. Base comes off just like that. Okay, we're going to go over the switch and everything. Okay, and then inside, let me see if I can get my fingers. Hold on a second. Kind of tough to get a hold of. All right, inside you get this spare parts bag, okay? And you get this spare rubber grommet. You get a tool to take apart the switch. And you get some spare magnets and a spare washer, okay? Also inside, since this is a 21700 mod, you get an 18650 battery adapter as well. One thing I do like, they put the venting. They put the venting on the, on the battery adapter. Kind of nice, man. Well thought out. Really is. So once you get that all out, I'm just going to reassemble this, okay? And now you can see there's plenty of venting on top, plenty of venting on the bottom. There is your magnetic switch. You hear that? It's got like a nice clicky tactile feel to it. Let me demonstrate it to you with the black one, all right? Here's the black one that I've been using. Again, you got the fins, you got the little hell vape, Trishful emblem right there. Still have all the cutouts and everything. And like I said earlier, hybrid mechanical mod, which means your atomizer is going to be making direct contact with the positive part of your battery. Please know your Ohm's law. Please know your battery safety. Please make sure you are using a hybrid safe atomizer, which means you want to have a pin that protrudes. See the way that pin, that gold piece protrudes from the stainless steel case? If your atomizer doesn't have that, you don't want to run it on a hybrid mechanical mod. You never want to run a sub-ohm tank on a hybrid mechanical mod. Okay? So now, top piece is solid, does not come off. Bottom part, the switch right here, comes off like so. You can see all copper on the inside. All right? There is an insulator ring there. And on the top right there, there is some sort of Delrin on the top there so you don't have a hard short I do like that I like those little safety precautions now the main star of the show of this is the magnetic switch and the reason it's the main star of the show is because this is constant contact which means this is always in contact with the negative part of your battery okay the switch the contact is happening inside and it's happening with magnets but instead of magnets that oppose each other, they're using magnets that are basically trying to stick together with each other. Now, in order to take the switch apart, you got to pull out this little insulator doohickey thing here. And this has venting in it as well. This piece comes out as well. We're going to put that to the side. 
Okay, we're going to just put it to the side for a second. All right, and now you're going to see this switch right here, right? This copper piece right here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your tweezers, whatever you got, needle nose pliers, and you just screw it out nice and easy. Okay, just get it out to the point where it comes out just like so. Okay, and you can see really, really nice job, nice polish to it. Definitely a good job, Hell Vape. All right, and now you can see that's going to expose your magnets, right? Now, in order to get your magnets out, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kind of like push that switch out, use something to push that switch out. And again, nice polish on this. It's got some venting on it. Let me call your attention to something. See that little, that little almost like spring, almost looks like a Clapton wire inside, all right? What that's doing is when you put your switch in, that's making contact with the outside of the switch, giving it a better contact base. I kind of like that. Nice job on that. Um, I've seen that done on another mech mod before. I cannot remember which one it was, but I've definitely seen it done before. But nice that Hellvape did that. Now, if you want to get the magnets out, you got to get something in there because they are strong magnets, man. Very, very strong. I mean, they just want to connect with each other now this magnet on the outside of part of the switch this does not have a washer okay so we're going to put that on the side for a second right and then once you do that the other one kind of falls out right and now you can see that this washer right here is attached to the magnet all right all right so how this is working is you see this big hole right here right when you have the magnets in there and the washer in there, it's not allowing this part to go through that hole. So that's kind of cool the way they did that. I really, really do like that. I think it's kind of ingenious the way they did the reverse magnet thing. Okay, so in order to reassemble this, right, what you want to do is you want to put your washer and your magnet on this side, okay? So you want to put your washer in there, right? You want to drop your magnet in there, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to take the other magnet and watch how this thing clicks. You see that? It just wants to be together, man. Unbelievable the strength on these magnets. Really, really nice job on that. Okay, and now you're going to take your switch, right? Your copper switch. And here's the key to this. You got It's a little tricky. You kind of got to get it in there, right? And you got to rotate it until it clicks down see that did you see that and now now you can see the click okay so you don't put it back together until it rotates down and you got that click all right and then you take this copper part and you just spin it in there okay get your tweezers when you need them all right and just tighten it down just like so and just hand tighten it just like that. When it stops, you stop, okay? And now you can see what's going on internally with the switch even better, right? Then you want to take your little grommet piece. You want to fit it, kind of fit it around this piece. Kind of massage it into place, right? Once it's in place, you take that piece. You pop it on there. And that's where your switch is happening right inside just like that okay now what we're going to do we're going to take our 30t we're going to pop it in there positive side facing the hybrid connection part right and now we're going to take our switch we're going to give it a little reverse thread and we're going to thread it on just like so okay and now you can see we're good to go now we're going to take our matte black mongrel by the way, this color is available right now, okay? And I got to tell you, man, I think that looks kind of sexy on there. I really do. This is actually my favorite mechanical mod to run the mongrel on. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And you can see, fire's beautiful. Let's go over those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual. First con is going to be, right, that button. You hear it? Very clicky. Some mech mod users are just not going to like that. 
They like that springy, mushy feel. This doesn't have that. This has got a very clicky, almost tactile feel to it. And the only other con I have for it, I mean, they did such a beautiful job on the matte black. I, I don't like that copper logo. It just, it stands out like a sore thumb to me. I just don't like it, you know? But that's a personal preference. Really not a lot to complain about here, especially at this price point. Let's move on to the pros. First pro is gonna be, I showed it to you down low, that innovative switch. They did a nice job on that, pro. It's comfortable, man. It's got a nice curve and contour in the middle to it. Feels really comfortable in the hand, very comfortable to fire. I can fire this with any of my fingers. It's just got a nice, nice, comfortable feel to it. Good job, Hellvape. I already spoke about it, that clicky switch. Some people are not gonna like it. I actually really like it, but then again, I'm not a big mech mod user, okay? It's not like I have a huge collection of mech mods. I kind of like the click to it though, but I know enough mech mod users that are not going to like that. It hits nice, man. It hits real nice. I got the 0.18 build on top of it right now in the matte black mongrel with some Johnny's Juice vanilla custard. Check it out. Nothing wrong with that. Plenty of clouds, great flavor, and it's hitting hard. I think the build quality on this thing, for the price point that you're getting at, really, really good. Staying along those same lines, it's affordable as far as mech mods go. If you're a newbie and you want to try a mech mod and you just don't want to spend a couple of hundred dollars on a tube, you might want to take a look at this thing. Just please make sure before you do do that, that you know Ohm's Law, you know your battery safety, make sure you do your research first, okay? Very, very important when it comes to mech mods. I like the threading on it. The threading on it is pretty good. And I like those 90 degree vent holes that they put in there, right? On the top there, right? So God forbid something catastrophic happens, you got those vent holes facing away from your face. I think that's well thought out, nice job. Let's move on to that five star rating system. First category is gonna be the looks. I mean, what can you really do on a tube? There's not much you can do. It's got some nice curves to it. I like that heat sink look on the top. I don't think it really serves a purpose, but it actually looks nice. It kind of breaks up all the solidness of it. The only thing I don't like about the looks is that copper logo, and that's a personal preference. In the looks category, I'm gonna give it three and three quarter stars. As far as form factor goes, again, what can you really do? It's comfortable in the hand. It's got some nice dips and curves to it. I like the way it feels when I fire it in the hand, okay? Just a nice, nice job overall, aesthetically and comfort level wise. In the form factor category, I'm gonna give it another three and three quarter star. As far as performance goes, I told you already, I like the clicky switch, okay? I like the way it vapes. I like the way it hits. Definitely hits really nice. No issues with the performance at all. In the performance category, I'm gonna give it a solid four stars. Now, as far as the value goes, I've been seeing this thing anywhere from $28 all the way up to $72. So make sure you shop around because that's a pretty big price disparity. Most of the time I've been seeing it on the cheaper side, it's out of China. So if you're willing to wait and you've never tried a mech before and you want to try something that's affordable, that might be a very doable option for you. If you get this thing for under 50 bucks, I think it's an excellent value. In the value category is where this thing really shines. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. Now we're going to take all these stars. We're going to add them up and we're going to come up with a total star count of 16. At this price point, this thing did really well. We're going to take these 16 stars, we're going to divide them by four, and we're going to come up with an average star count of four stars. Right on the button, baby. That makes this thing automatically deuces jack approved. And I can't say it enough. If you've never tried a mech before, right, especially with all the pending regulations coming and everything, right, you might want to take a look into mech mods because of their longevity, right? You might want to take a look at this one. Just make sure you educate yourself. Make sure you know about Ohm's Law. Make sure you know about battery safety. Let's get into some of the specs 
on the Helvig Trishful V2. It measures in at 25 millimeters on top and 27 millimeters wide on the body. It will take a 21700 or 2700 battery and you can run an 18650 battery with the included adapter. It is 94.9 millimeters high and it weighs 168 grams. It features a magnetic switch and it's available in black, copper and brass. Don't forget insiders, head on over to our Facebook group, Vaping Insider Community. Great bunch of people over there, very knowledgeable, 14,000 strong, the feed flies, all we do is talk about vaping over there. I would love to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out. Deuces.